Hello people. So it's about hmm, seven o'clock. We like to come up the stairs and get nice and cosy at night time. And lucky because I've got a nice hydraulic bed and I've got a big screen like a projector. Let me see up there. Yep. And I've had a projector for many years since my son was small at, at primary school and we used to hook up, hook it up to a DVD player and since then we've had the inventions of uh, fire sticks so now we've got the fire sticks on and um, you can watch all the apps and live television and everything on it, it's great and watch it on the big screen. I do love movies. I'm a big movie buff. I always said I could do some reviews, but if you ever need some top tips of good movies, I like all different genres apart from horror. Um, I love everything. Thrillers, action. Um, I like cartoons and Disney. Um, comedy, rom-coms. I like a wee bit of everything, but just no horror. I can do vampires. I don't mind a wee bit of vampires. I've done some werewolves, but I do not like, what do you call they, creatures. You know, that wake and dead. Oh, zombies. I don't like zombies. And I don't like freaky children. <laughs> um, or horrors like the suspense and that. Or Jaws. <laughs> I was scared of Jaws when I was younger. But I'll try a bit of anything. Um, so I'm up here. Today has been a great day. I've done lots. Um, I've been getting a lot of, like, for a good couple of years now, I, I get a symptom where I sweat a lot due to getting a high heart rate, like you're literally done a workout and all you've done is just sat down and chopped some vegetables and helped with the dinner and the next minute the lich the sweat is like it, it drips like i could i'll let you see one time it happens it like sits on my arms and it it, it just keeps coming and you know it is it's like when you've you've went a run on the running machine if you've been at the gym and you know after it it's like you can't stop sweating <laughs> So it's a bit like that, but my hair gets soaking. But then what happens is I can't regulate my heat at all. And then um, I get cold and my muscles get cold and my back gets cold and then I go into spasm. So I have to then come upstairs. I don't know if you can see now, I'm showing you all around my bedroom. Um, around here, oxygen machines. Where will we get to my dressing table? Can we see? Oh God. Let me see. Can we see on there? Um, yep, yeah, see, there we are. My hair dryer. It's above the orange cardigan. It's sitting. It's the um, gold hair dryer there, and it's on a stand. So it's great because it's on a stand for me, and I can sit and it'll dry my hair without me having to hold the hair dryer. Because then if I hold the hair dryer, I then just would go into spasm. Especially if I'm trying to dry my hair when my back's so cold. So, um, that was, I don't know, about £13 it cost me for eBay. I'm on my second one because the clip got broken. Um, but, hey-ho, it's not, it's not breaking the bank, is it? Um, and that's... Uh, that's what I get to spend my money on, myself. <laughs> I'm very fortunate, actually, since I got this disease because um, we had paid the house off. We don't have any debt whatsoever. I've got my hair in pigtails because when you sweat, pigtails are the best. They're the best thing that you can get your hair on. And I'm lucky sometimes if my staff car nurse comes, she can do... Um, French pleats, so she does one for me. <laughs> it's nice, and 
my hairdresser now got her to do a French pleat because I used to get curled and then I would just take these sweats after she'd go and it would just end up a mess so last time I got her to do a French pleat it was great and one of my other carers as well she's like I'm going to try a French pleat in your hair and she tried and she'd done a really good job um, so I'm very lucky um, but yeah pleats are the best thing especially when you're sweating that's a wee tip, I suppose, I guess. Like, I don't know if I'm going through the menopause. I'm 44, right? I'm 44, I'm going to remember. Um, and maybe I am. Maybe that's what it is. But I reckon I sweat when I'm doing an activity. So uh, generally when I'm doing an activity or when I'm eating as well, because eating's an activity, I suppose. Um... It's not like my heart rate goes up that high either. It's just a sweat, so it's um, it's not that smelly sweat either. It's let's <laughs> talk about sweat. You know, like that smelly burger sweat smell, <laughs> like you're passing a snack van. It's, I didn't smell like that when I sweat. I actually. It does have a smell though, because I get to the point where I'm like, oh my god, I need to wash my hair. My hair smells like vinegar. That's what it smells like to me, vinegar. It's a chemical smell. I guess it is from the tablets. But today it's not really had a smell. My hair doesn't smell. Anyway. <laughs> I'll just talk about sweat. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I'll put this into the blog. It's a blog about sweat. I don't know if I've got any other top tips about sweat. Just really drying myself to prevent the spasms. And again, just oh, trying to save Danny washing. But that man loves to do washing. <laughs> He's actually just down the stairs making our tea. Because we always have a wee cup of tea and a wee biscuit. I have my wee Slimming World biscuit and a cup of tea after dinner. And he has a cup of tea and a Yorkie and a penguin. <laughs> We're creatures of habit. And uh, he's like, I put a washing on. Now, before you start, I'm just doing it in the morning. I'm not leaving it for the cleaner. <laughs> My hand shaking. But he's no happy. Um, <laughs> he likes to do his cell and hang it up a certain way and things like that. So I just leave him on doing it. Like I say, we've got the cleaner to help you out so you... Then I have to do the washing, um, like twice a week, because we get her in twice a week to keep the place dust free and things like that. And she'll empty the dishwasher and hang the washing up, just to give him a wee break, eh? Because he does so much. He's, honestly, he does so much. I mean, you think oh, I've got the carers in, but he does so much in the morning. Like he starts an hour later in the morning, but he's up. And he's got to make my breakfast. I have a wee half breakfast in the morning. I say a half breakfast because I'm on the Slimming World. So it literally is. It's like half of your B choice. For any of you that have done Slimming World. You'll know what your B choice is. It's your, it's your carbs. So either have half a bowl of cereal. Or one slice of the small bread. Um, and you can't eat that much. First thing in the morning. And then I have my tablets with it because you have to eat with the tablets or your tummy would just be off in and out you. <laughs> nice. Um, <laughs> and then that'll be me until lunchtime. The carers then come in any time between the back of nine and the back of ten and then they'll help me get dressed and things like that. But he's up, he's doing all that care in the morning. If the carers saw me in the morning and I mean some of them have come in early before my tablets at some point and they're like, oh, what's wrong with her? And he's like, this is how she is. Like, she literally can't function. Like, I'm not, I'm not like this in the morning um, when I get up. Not anymore. Um, I mean, if it wasn't for the medication, I probably couldn't talk like this and I certainly wouldn't have any mojo. <laughs> I would, um, be relying on I'm relying on the the cortisol for the prednisolone. My body's used to it. Um, I need it. I need the morphine, the slow release morphine, 
to help me to breathe as well so I would be really short of breath too so they all work on a slow release 12 hour system so I take them 8 between 8 and half 8 in the morning 8 half 8 at night um, and then I have my other um, painkillers now that were added into the mix for the bone problem so when I had the breakages now I don't actually think I've got any breakages just now I just think I'm getting used to dealing with osteoporotic pain so my heart goes out to anybody that's suffering with arthritis rheumatoid arthritis bone problems and things because you know it's it is a constant pain and there's days where you can get days where you're not in as much pain and then you do a little bit and you trigger it off like yesterday I said doing my my seeds just planting my seeds but my head was down I was leaning forward and some of the research that I've read is all about you coming back the way so not doing any um what we call um oh what's the word it was so upset extension this is terrible my brain's just went flexion Yes, flexion, Maureen. It's flexion is bending forward. <laughs> extension is coming back the way. So I have to do more extension exercises and flexion. So come, leaning forward is not a good position for me at all. Um, and I guess it's true because it did cause a lot of pain in my body yesterday. But I did wake up this morning with no pain, so that was good. Um... But yeah, I'm just chilling out now for the night, watch some movies and then my usual routine is I'll put the telly off and I'll read a book on my Kindle. And I usually go to sleep quite late, I'm usually like midnight-ish, sometimes a wee bit more but I've got about three books on the go now, I purchased three books last night. I got my usual one from Amazon, your free one that you get for the month, sometimes you get two. I've got a couple of prequels on the go. Um, the Whitehaven Witches will be out in a few days, so I've got that coming. Um, I've got another murder mystery one that's the, the third one. that um, It's a prequel, I need to purchase that, I left that. But I did end up purchasing Spare, you know, from um, Harry. So I decided I would read that last night, so I started that one. Um, but I'm an avid reader. I, I do like to read. Anyway, that's me in my bed all cosy. And uh, that's my sort of nighttime routine. And um, I wish you all a good sleep, restful sleep, and a nice, bright, full of energy in the morning. That's all I wish for every night full of energy in the morning because I don't know what tomorrow's going to bring in the morning. I just have to wait and see. A lot of the time I just nod back off and on until the drugs kick in. Um, good night.